Tell me why, despite UCLA needing a late run, they should have won this game. Well, you don't need to. I'm going to tell you why. It's Locked On UCLA. Thanks for tuning in to this special reaction edition of the Bruins' loss to Arizona. I'm Zach Anderson, Yoxheimer. This reaction is brought to you by Bet Online. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for tuning in on YouTube. It's free where we get your podcast, and it's free. Thanks for tuning in. In the meantime, UCLA lost this game 56-52, 58-52, excuse me, after some late free throws by Arizona. The Bruins certainly had their opportunities, despite shooting way worse than the Wildcats did. UCLA shooting nearly 30%. The Bruins had their opportunity to win this game. And no, I'm not talking about the late run that nearly put themselves ahead. I'm talking about the reason that this game was under the 60s. Arizona is one of the most efficient offenses in the country. They score 70 plus points per game. UCLA kept the Wildcats, despite them shooting 20 free throws, to under 60 points. And despite it being on the road, a hostile environment, you're not going to get any, if many, if any calls, which they probably didn't. UCLA could have and should have won this game. This was the pace that Mick Cronin and the Bruins would have wanted to dictate, and they just couldn't buy a bucket. Four of 20 from three. 31% 31% from the floor, and they missed five free throws in the game that was ended up deci- being decided by six, and they had the ball down four in under 20 seconds. Nothing against the character or the moxie of this team to fight hard and battle back, but in a game where I sat there in the first 20 minutes, and I'm wondering, how is this team losing by three? They had their opportunities. Arizona turned it over three times in the first minute plus, the two couple of minutes. And UCLA led for what seemed like the majority of that first half. And yet, here UCLA is losing by six, a game where they led for 12 and a half minutes. And then Arizona led from just before half all the way through the rest of the second half, technically dominating, quote unquote, the rest of this game. But it took a late for one run to make this interesting. What stood out for the Bruins? Well, they were able to rebound. You had Hawkins Jr. and Jalen Clark, who battled on the boards. 10 boards and 11 boards, respectively, for Clark and Hawkins Jr. Both of those guys had double doubles. Four of the starting five had double figures. But again, with Amari Bailey out, what did it come down to? No depth scoring. They did get four points off the bench from Will McClendon, but UCLA didn't get that depth scoring that they needed. Arizona, well, they used less players than the Bruins, but they got their depth scoring. They had Pell Larson, who had eight. Boswell with two. Carissa who, as inefficient as he was, he still scored seven, had four boards while turning it over four times. Valo, Tubelos, Ramey, they all had big shots, big moments, big rebounds as their big man, Tubelos, had to double-double, 14 points, 10 rebounds. Valo, 16 points, eight rebounds. UCLA, it seemed like, despite out-rebounding Arizona, did not get the rebounds when they needed to. Down 13, when they drove to the cup, could not buy a bucket in the paint. In the end, what will tell the story, points in the paint. 26 to 22. Arizona plus four. Out hustled the Bruins in terms of fast break points, 15 to 10. And when UCLA was down 10 to 13 points, and before that late run by McCronin's bunch, UCLA was getting outscored by 10 in the paint. So for Tommy Lloyd's bunch, a game that you can't look at the numbers and think UCLA could have won this game, how badly they shot, but they got way more shots up than the Wildcats. Turned it over less than Arizona. Did 17 turnovers for the Cats and 11 for the Bruins. And UCLA didn't win this game. I think it's not going to hurt having a split, losing at Arizona in a respectable fashion, fighting hard, having a chance to win late. Bona blocking everybody, just showcasing the hustle. Down 13, Bona diving on the floor, making crazy plays, diving on the floor once, blocking him again, blocking Hawkins and Bona late on those couple of shots late before the Bruins got the basketball back. And while this is more of a stream of consciousness, UCLA certainly had their opportunity. They played hard. They hustled. But Bona in foul trouble. Nubo with like four fouls in the first half. And the Bruins just couldn't contain the big men, who didn't shoot that well. But again, 20 free throws attempted for UCLA, for Arizona. 15 made compared to 11 attempts for UCLA. I'm not going to harp too much on the foul shots, although there was a big impact and a reason why Arizona got more points just by simply shooting foul shots. But UCLA had their chance to win this game. It is what it is. Frustrating, but they'll move forward. The winning streak is snapped. And now they got to go back to the drawing board. A game that it didn't seem like they should have won by 12 at Arizona State. And a game that 
while as ice cold as they were, UCLA still should have been in this game much closer than when Arizona was leading by 13 and won this game, in my opinion. I think they had an opportunity to win, and they didn't. They'll regret this moving forward, but then Mick Cronin will learn. Again, Bailey's out, key sixth player, key bench guys, whatever it is. David Singleton had zero points, and it's not going to all fall on Singleton. But when he was hot and Hawkins couldn't shoot the other night, Singleton, 20-plus points. Tiger, 20-plus points. Today, Hawkins and Campbell, 5 of 17, 5 of 18, combined 10 of 35, those two guys. You add in David Singleton, 10 of 40. And when your two best scorers, your best three-point shooter going 10 of 40, and combining to hit three threes and 13 attempts, you're not going to win a game on the road where you need that big in-rhythm three. Singleton threw up some shots that normally he makes this season with his numbers, shooting close to 45%, and he didn't. And UCLA could not overcome that in a crucial matchup where Kansas lost by like 20 at home to TCU for the first time ever. It's carnage week, and UCLA fell victim to it, at least on this Saturday. They'll get the Wildcats at the end of the regular season at home in Pauley Pavilion. Might get them in the Pac-12 tournament, but we'll have to wait and see how this Bruin team has developed. They still got to go to SC. They still got a tough, heavy road schedule ahead of them. So can they stay hovering near a one to a two seed and not drop further down the seed line and make it much tougher in March? That's what's going to dictate these next few weeks. How quickly can Amari Bailey be back and not just back, but effective and help give the Bruins six to seven players overall, as opposed to just five players they rely on and just bodies they throw out relentlessly. Again, lack of depth, ice cold shooting, and the big slump killed them this time against an Arizona team that didn't shoot the ball that well this game. If they did, the Bruins would have been blown out of the building. And UCLA had a chance. They certainly had a chance, but Arizona did enough to frustrate the Bruins who could not find any offense whatsoever this afternoon, this morning into afternoon. Either way, we'll wrap things up for Locked On UCLA. But after telling you that Bet Online is your number one source for all your sports betting odds, bets, betting fixes, podcasts, they've got it all. Bet Online, where the game starts, where it starts. And also, in the meantime, we'll tell you about Built Bar. Built Bar, go get one. You can get it at your local Walmart, Sam's Club, Built Bar. You can get a 100% real chocolate. They've got churro, peanut butter, brownie, coconut almond. I'm not sure how Built does it, but it's 100% chocolate. And it's something that tastes amazing. It's healthy and it's tasty. You got to try Built Bar. Go get it at Built.com. 17 grams of protein. And they've got it all with Built.com. Go get yourself a Built Bar. I love myself some churro. Go get it. Built.com. Make it happen. UCLA fans, get those hands up. A clap time, baby. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see LA. You see LA fight, fight, fights. This has been our immediate reaction. I'll go more in depth. On Monday, as you can tell, I'm at work doing another game. So we'll go more in depth. Maybe my thoughts will change. Maybe I'll look at it differently. But for now, my immediate reaction, frustration, different if they lost some 13 compared to when they had a chance to win it. But UCLA drops this. This has been Locked on UCLA. Zach Anderson, Yoxheimer signing off. We'll talk to you again around the corner, around the weekend. we got more news to talk to you. Football, basketball, baseball, softball starting. We've got it all. This has been Locked on UCLA. Go Bruins.